All right, y'all. So this video, I'm going to kind of talk about anime a little bit more, talk about Attack on Titan a little bit more. And <clears throat> some, I want to uh, just speak on a few things. But firstly, I want to give all praises, all praises to Yahweh by Shim Hao Sha. And I want to show y'all something real quick. I just want to show y'all something real quick. Let me see. What's this dude's name? What's this dude's name? What is this dude's name? Um, uh, how do I search up? I don't, I don't, oh, hold up, slack you. All right, um, all right. Let me show you something real quick, all right? No, 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 no. Hold up. All right, so. So, um, in Attack on Titan, if y'all don't know, if y'all don't know, spoilers for anybody who hasn't seen, uh, se uh, not season, episode 21 just yet. So, just kind of like keeping y'all up to everything that's been going on in Attack on Titan. So, basically, in episode 21, it gave a background, it gave a background to the founder and Ymir. It gave a background story to the founder Ymir. And the founder Ymir, she, she was basically the first Titan, the first Titan ever, right? So in her backstory, she's basically been like, you know, a slave or whatever to the king. And first of all, what happened is just, just kind of like, you know, summarizing everything. But first of all, in her story, she um, she was uh, ratted out by all her people, right? I think they found, I think something, it was something about a pig that escaped or whatever. And the king asked, that was like, hey, who let that pig escape? So everybody like pointed at her and was like, hey, she did it, right? So she in a sense got punished for it. And they and what, what happened, right, is they said, okay, the king was like, you're free, quote unquote free. Basically trying to like, you know, make it seem like that she was free to go or free to leave. But as she was leaving, they basically like chased her down and hunted, hunted her down and almost like, you know, like it was like it was like for their own pleasure, for like their own fun, right? So in hunting her down in the woods. There was this tree or whatever. It is this weird tree. I don't know what, what type of tree it was. But it was just a weird, big, big ass tree. And she went uh inside the tree. It was almost like it was almost like a cave, how big it was, but she went inside the tree and she slid. I guess like you know, she fell, it was like a slide or something going down that tree, and there was like, you know, some water or something that that led down or whatever. It was some some weird shit, right? But as she went inside the tree and slid down this little tunnel or whatever. And fell into like you know just a whole a bunch of water and it was almost like she I, I thought she was gonna drown to death but she didn't and it was some weird little spiny weird little figure thing or whatever that touched her and basically gave her the power of being like the first titan ever right so have knowing that she had this power the king used her to his advantage for wars to win wars and take over land to basically like you know use the titan because nobody had this power. They had spears and horses and all that stuff, but like having that titan, like it was it was used to the king's advantage. So, and I think they were they were uh, Marlins, Marlins, yeah, they were Marlins. So the Marlins had this had this power of the titan, the founding titan, the first ever titan, and used that to to uh, his advantage and basically used Ymir as a slave, also like as a sex slave as well, because because she had that that power to turn into a titan. He was like, you know what? What I want to do is that to bless you, I'm going to give you my seed. Basically saying that I'm going to uh, have sex with you and everything. And you're going to be my sex slave. And my blessing to you is going to have your, my seed just, you know, uh, endure forever. So what they did is that he just had as many babies with her, everything, as many babies as, as he wanted to, everything with her to keep that, you know, I guess, royal blood to, to keep his... uh. What you call it? That that titan, that titan blood, you know, going. And at some point, he was about to get killed. But I think he was about to get killed by somebody. I forgot who. I think one one is one of his own people. But Ymir, Ymir, she went in front of the spear that the man threw to sacrifice her own life for the king. But the king did not care at all. Like he he was like he was like, come on now, wake up. Like I know damn well you're not gonna sit here and die. You know what I'm saying? But she died, right? But what the king did is that. The king decided to take the grand his granddaughters. He decided to take his granddaughters 
and have them eat their own mother, Ymir. And I think their, their names was, was the names of the walls. You had Maria, Rose, and Sana, right? Those were the names of the walls that had the titans in them, right? So basically, he used her seed. He, he had her daughters eat, eat Ymir even after she died. And basically, basically like Ymir, she's been a slave for like 2,000 years, right? 2,000 years, been a slave, building up all these titans and and upholding the king's, like, you know, uh, the king's, I guess, plan to have his seed, to have his seed, to have these titans, you know, be in these walls and have have everything just, you know, rule forever, right? And that, that, was, that was the plan he had to have his, like, you know, that royal blood blood seed keep going. So, um, let me see if that's where I'm at. So, basically, the whole point of the episode being called From You 2,000 Years Ago because if y'all remember that in the uh, first episode of this of the show ever, it was called "To You" in two thousand years, right? So this that whole the whole episode twenty one, it uh it revealed the plan, it revealed the plan of of uh Aaron because Aaron he's the protagonist, so it revealed his plan to basically free Ymir, to free Ymir from her slavery because she's been a slave for two thousand years, for two thousand years even after she died. She's been a slave taking orders from the, the uh, royal bloodline. Anybody who was a part of the royal bloodline, she took orders from them. And the orders that was that was given to her was to basically keep keep the seed of the Marlins, keep keep that royal bloodline seed going and flourishing and having the Titans like you know still be existent, right? But Aaron's plan was to basically kill off anybody who was not a part of his people, anybody who was who was not you know his people. He wants to kill them, right? But it was like showing you the difference between Zeke's plan and Aaron's plan. Aaron wanted to euthanize everybody, not euthanize, but he wanted to euthanize people to kill off the, uh, I think he wanted to kill the Eldians, right? So he wanted to kill the Eldians while Aaron wanted to save the Eldians. Anybody who was his people, who was part of the uh, Iron of Paradise, of Paradise, he wanted to, like, you know, preserve them. So Aaron, what he did is that in this episode, he basically convinced the founder Ymir to be free from a slavery that she'd been a part of for 2,000 years. And Ymir made Aaron. Ymir made Aaron for that moment. That's that's the reason why Aaron had the plan that he, that he had planned out. So basically free Ymir from her slavery, free Ymir from that slavery she was in 2,000 years, and to uh, basically, uh, what you call it, to um, have Aaron take the power of the founding titan so he basically was able to take the take the power of the founding of the founding titan and you know uh what you call it to um cause the rumbling to happen. So in this in this uh episode 21, the rumbling happened, and now we're just waiting on the destruction that's gonna happen to everybody who is not alien, right? So that's that's about to happen. So uh that's basically kind of like you know the summary of episode 21. And the reason I'm making this video though is to kind of show y'all something that I, I kind of just talked to talk about a few things that has to do with the Bible though. Cause even though it is about anime and this, this uh, whole, you know, video does like, you know, wrap around anime and everything, but this all, this all, it's like, you know, uh, this all kind of wraps or correlates with the Bible in some way, shape or form. Right. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you all that. Right. So let's go ahead and get to this video that I want to show y'all right here. And this dude right here, his name is uh, Mark Phillips from uh, RDC. If y'all don't know who RDC is, there you know there's some dope, there's some dope creators and everything. They got some very dope content. So yeah, but this is from his Instagram, Supreme Dreams, and he made this uh video on Instagram talking about he's a he's a he's a huge anime fan. If you know about RDC, they're huge anime fans and everything. But he was talking about Attack on Titan in this little Instagram video that I wanted to show y'all and wanted to just like you know point out a little statement that he made. That one so I can expound on, right? So y'all listen. Come to the mirror because I'm stressed right now. I thought I was Hold on. tell y'all niggas. I had to come to the mirror because I'm stressed right now. I thought I was gonna watch Attack on Titan and be a little less stressed. No, nigga, that was not the case. I'm still stressed. Now you niggas may know that I have a manga of my own, an anime of my own. How is niggas writing this high? So the reason he's asking this question is because of the fact that, you know, anime like this Attack on Titan has probably like arguably one of the best storylines ever. Attack on Titan has arguably one of the best storylines in anime ever. 
Like this, this is like the the way that this whole story was written is crazy. From season one to season four, it's just crazy, and it's it's like dog. Like I like I don't know how people can come up with this type of stuff and everything, but the the writing and the Attack on Titan is is very it's very it's great, dog. It's great, but that's besides the point. What type? Of, what do they know about the Earth that we don't? Look, he said. Even though he's joking, he said, "What do they know about the Earth that we don't? What do they know about the Earth that we don't?" Right. So, if y'all know the video that I made talking about Attack on Titan, I think last week. I think, I think it was last week, maybe maybe a week and a half ago, maybe. But in that video, I talked about how Aaron, Aaron, he he embodies the true identity of what who, what God is. Like the God that y'all that y'all you know know about in this world, y'all y'all you know y'all Christians and all y'all other gods, y'all believe that oh God, He's for everybody. God loves everybody. He loves everybody. He loves all. But it's like He's the complete opposite of that in the Bible. How God He's literally only for His people, which are Israelites, right? His people are Israelites, and the fact that we've been you know this doctrine of you know oh He loves everybody. He loves you know all people. It's been pushed in our brains. It's been pushed in our brains by Christianity, which which is literally a white man's religion. To be honest, even though people people may not agree with that statement, but it literally is a white man's religion. Literally, how it's been pushed through our minds in slavery that the white man that like literally it's been whitewashed. They made everything white. They made Yahweh Shai. They made Jesus white. They made everybody in the in the Bible white, having us think that everything was about them and that we should love them and everything, but coming into the truth it's like no we shouldn't these these are not the people that we should love because they've been doing this this uh demonic this demonic stuff brainwashing whitewashing our history for years for two thousand years if i may say you know what i'm saying so there is no reason why we should be sitting here trying to like you know conform to them and their religion when they've been pushing lies to us forever right but getting back to the statement they said when he said what do they know about the earth that we don't know like, it's not even just about the earth, but just about, like, you know, just religion as a whole, right? How, like I said, I don't know, I don't know if the writers of Attack on Titan even knows about the true God, which is Yahweh. I don't know if they know about Hebrew Israelites. I don't know if they do. But the way that they're writing the story of Attack on Titan, it literally embodies who God really is. The God that everybody else don't really know about. People don't know, they don't know about Yahweh. They don't know that, you know, God, he only came for these people. They don't know that God only loves these people, right? They may admit that God has, that, that God has a chosen people. That, it's like, if you ask, a, if you ask a so-called black person, right? Have you heard about Israelites? Some people, some people may say yes. Some people, a lot of people may say no. But those who may say yes, it's like, they agree to the notion that God has a chosen people, but they don't even know that they are the chosen people, right? They don't know that they are the chosen people and they don't know that he only loves him. He only loves them. And it's sad. And they want to like, you know, have that love be given out to everybody else when it can't. Because Yahweh, he only he only loves his own. He only loves his own people that he made. They chose to be his people. Right. Now I could bring up Bible and everything because like, you know, Deuteronomy 76 said that, you know, um, uh, he chose us to be a special people above all people. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and bring that up real quick. Let me go ahead and bring that up because people don't realize that this, this is basically a form of superiority almost. Let me go to Deuteronomy 76. And he was talking to the Israelites, right? And he told them. Uh, let me see. He said, look, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are that are upon the face of the earth right and the fact that people they just overlook they overlook that scripture oh you know like that they, they don't they don't they, like they want to try to find ways to be like oh no he loves everybody that was in the old testament that's like you know so you're saying that god changed it right you're saying that god changed his plan to have his people be saved 
even though there are many scriptures that say that he only came for his people and that only his people is going to be saved and receive salvation. But y'all overlook that, though. Y'all want to conform. Y'all want to, like, you know, have people go by the wicked ass religion of Christianity. Right. And also, let me go to go to uh, Joel 2.29. Jewel or 27, Slakia. It says, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. Like, what do y'all think it means when it says that? What do y'all think it means when it says that? When he said that I am in the midst of Israel and I am the Lord your God and none else. I, I just don't understand how y'all overlook these things and like y'all just y'all just don't don't even y'all don't y'all don't believe in the Bible. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all Christians who say that y'all love God, say y'all read the Bible and everything, y'all don't believe in the Bible. When I bring when I bring up these verses, y'all don't believe in it. It's like, well, I don't if you say you don't if you say you don't agree with that, you're saying you don't agree with God. And you're saying that he did not, he don't even love you. That when you say that you don't agree with this statement, that he's only the God of uh, Israel, for you Israelites who are blind, you're saying that he don't love you, even though he said that he does. And it's sad. But let's get back to this whole little thing, right? Attack on Titan, how are you right like this? 10 out of 10 from Attack on Titan and Demon Slayer. I ain't gonna say it again. If you don't watch anime, nigga, you lame. Nigga, I don't fuck with you. That's cap. I probably do fuck with you. But you are kind of lame right now, nigga. At this exact moment, you are. All right, so I just want to show all that real quick, because like you said, like there are certain things. He was like, "What what things about the earth that y'all know that we don't?" You know what I'm saying? And there may be a lot of other things that you know, like for example, like you may have some little beast called like you know the Leviathan, maybe some some beast in the sea and the ocean that we don't even know about that God made just be there waiting, waiting to like you know come out come out of the ocean. To uh destroy, you know what I'm saying? Or to escape judgment on somebody. You don't, we don't know these things. You know what I'm saying? Only God does. But the whole point of this video is to show y'all how Attack on Titan, it literally ties into like, you know, the true definition, the true nature of who God is. How God, He's only for His people. He only came for His people. And I'm gonna continue to like, you know, stress that as long as I live, you know what I'm saying? Until Yahweh shall returns. I'm continuing to stress that he only came for his people, right? But everybody's going to have a different mindset. Everybody's going to have a different belief. Everybody's not going to really want to believe in that. They don't want to believe in the fact that God only came for these people, even though the Bible says it. Because anytime we say these things, we don't say anything that doesn't come that doesn't come out of the Bible. Anytime a Hebrew Israelite speaks, now also it depends on which Hebrew Israelite you're you're uh, listening to. Cause not all of them are reliable, you know what I'm saying? You got you got camps like GMS who are wicked as hell. You got some few few little camps that that may be you know a little bit that may be a little bit wicked, and you shouldn't listen. You shouldn't listen to them. But there are some there are like you know a majority of camps out there who are pushing the truth, pushing the actual truth of the word, right? And the real truth is that God only came for His people, which are Israelites, which are the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Natives of the world. All right, and uh, I'm gonna make a video in the future. I'm gonna make a video in the future uh, breaking down the 12 tribes chart a little bit more because there was something that uh came came to mind about the tribe of Dan. Because I realized that uh, Yahweh, not Yahweh, Shai, Jacob, he had 12 sons, but Ephraim and Man uh, Manasseh, 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 those two tribes. Um, they're included on the uh, what's called the uh, 12 tribes chart, but Dan, Dan was a son of Jacob, but he's not included on the 12 tribes chart. And I was kind of confused, I was like, hold up, like, why is he not included? But I'm, I'm gonna make a video in the future explaining that for people who may be confused and for people who may have questions when it come down to this to these uh, 12 tribes of Israel and everything. And I'm, I'm gonna break it down to the T so y'all can understand, so y'all can, you know, um, what you call it, receive revelation. And receive edification of the truth you know what i'm saying but that's all i wanted to do for this video i don't want to make this video any longer try to make it like you know too long and do like a whole hour 30 minutes like i want to make it kind of like less than 30 minutes just to kind of like you know hit it and quit it you know what i'm saying but hopefully that y'all uh 
learned a little bit from this video, just from the few precepts, from the few precepts that I that I gave y'all, y'all should learn that Yahweh, Yahweh, and Yahweh Shah, they they Yahweh like you know because Yahweh controls everything, right? So he literally has his people. He came for his people. Yahweh, he sent Yahweh Shah to come for his people, right? But Yahweh Shah, like you know, in in his people, in his uh, angels in heaven, right? It's literally like you know all about us. It's literally all about the Israelites. It's all about us. If you don't think it is, hey, you can believe in what you can believe in what you want to believe in. I know that from from what the the Bible that I read, the Bible that I read, and the God that I serve, He's for me and my people. If you don't want to believe that, hey, it's all good. But for my people, I love y'all. I love y'all. Stay away from these false doctrines. Stay away from anything that is wicked. To stay away from anything that's not trying to help you and push you towards the truth, the actual truth. We have so many doctrines. That, that's why the Bible says, don't be like, you know, thrown to and fro by every doctrine. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody ain't, everybody ain't right. Even like I said, some Hebrew Israelites may not be right all the time. So you got to make sure you're listening to the right people, the right people. Because some people, some people may have like, you know, some little, um, some very, very off things that, that they may say. It's going to confuse you. You know what I'm saying? But uh, even for those who are coming into the truth, Hopefully y'all y'all take it, you know, day by day, take some little baby steps and, you know, get get the milk first. You know what I'm saying? Because there's there some like, you know, you got to get the milk to get the, to get to the meat. You can't just go go eat a full course meal if you ain't get like, you know, your, your milk first, your Similac first. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just take it day by day, step by step and learn, learn, look things up, even go to the Bible and read for yourself. Don't just take everything that you say, take everything that I say. Or everything that Hebrew, that the Hebrew Israelites say and just run with it, look it up. Look it up for yourself. Look up some books and stuff, like, you know, read, find, find some information, uh, go to the library and find some books or look up books online. A lot of things you can do to, like, you know, uh, unlock a lot of knowledge that, you know, you may have not heard from, from birth. You know what I'm saying? So I love y'all. Peace and shalom.